So, let's explore how to use the library catalog. Using the large search box on the library homepage searches all of the library's online resources, and physical ones too, as well as books and other physical resources from Summit, the regional consortium of academic libraries. The default setting is to search books, articles, and more, but if you use the library catalog link, you can limit your initial search to PSU and Summit Libraries, PSU Library, Course Reserves, and Special Collections if you happen to know the exact collection you want to search within. Let's begin with a really broad search and then begin to narrow. Starting on the library homepage, leave the default setting, type Critical Theory into the search box, and press Enter. Wow! Okay, we've gotten a ton of results, over 4.3 million. So in order to help us organize our sources, as well as to make sure we have the best access to the resources, it's time to sign in. Once you've signed in, you will see your name up here on the upper right side of the web page. Before we even begin to limit our results, let's look at some citation management tools that can help you organize your research. Click on the three little dots on the right side of the record directly across from the name of the resource to open up a list of tools. You can grab an automatically produced citation to add to an external bibliography, save a permalink to this library record, email yourself a link to this library record, import a citation directly to Mendeley or Zotero, print the record, and report an error. In the upper right hand corner of the record is a little pin. If you click on this pin, it saves the record to your pin list. You can also save entire searches with limiters and facets included to your pin list by clicking on the Save This Search link at the top of the page. You access your pin list next to your name in the upper right corner of the web page. In your pin list, you can add labels and organize as you like. Your saved searches and search history can also be found here. Another important thing to note is that anything with green lettering underneath the resource information is available right now, either online or on the library shelves. If you see a blue lettering, it means that either the item is checked out or is not held by the library. To get access to these resources, click on the Find and Request button and follow the instructions. Okay, back to our search. Let's talk about how to get that results list a little bit more manageable. On the left side of the page, there are different limiters that you can use to get more precise in your search. You can limit to a particular limiter or limit out a particular limiter. In other words, if you don't want your results list to include newspaper articles, just click on the red checkbox with a slash through it and you will not see that resource type, subject, etc. To get just print books, use the print books filter. But to limit to just print books that PSU currently has on the shelves, use the limit to on library shelves as well. To use multiple filters at once, click the blue button that says Apply Filters. Another common resource type is articles, and you can further refine this search to only include articles in peer-reviewed journals. You can also refine by date, subject, author, language, and journal title. One thing to note, when you want to refine by date, type in your date range, and then make sure to press the refine button. If you limit to PSU online resources, you will only see resources you can access online, including ebooks. Always remember to check the subject limiter as well. All of these library features can help you search more efficiently and organize your sources in a personal way that works for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian.